I am a stay-at-home mom. At first, it seemed like an easy decision. Wow, what do you do all day at home? You probably have a lot of time in your hands and do nothing. You're so lucky that you can afford to be home, that your partner provides financially. Oh wow, it must be so nice to just sit at home all day since you don't have a job. I can't tell you how many times I heard these assumptions. I have been asked so many times, when are you gonna get a real job? How do you contribute to the family financially? Or what are you gonna do when all the kids are in school? There is this misconception that being a stay-at-home mom is an easy work. I am grateful, I am truly grateful for being a stay-at-home mom, but it is not that simple. It can be very fulfilling and rewarding, but it can also be very challenging and isolating. And people who have never done it before have no idea how hard it actually is. It's definitely not a day with nothing to do but sitting around on the couch. Before your life as a mom, you might have been someone who held a career where your work and passion were recognized in the world outside your home. But the moment you transitioned to becoming a stay-at-home mom, it feels like your whole identity was traded over for that one word. Mom. Many have no idea what it's like. Don't get me wrong. I mean, how can I complain about something many consider to be their dream job? No need to clock in, no bosses to impress, no deadlines to meet. People might even say that you have a stress-free and very easy life since your partner has enough paycheck to support the family. But after many cycles of laundry, cleaning last night's dishes in the kitchen, tears, cleaning bathrooms, arranging the cluttered toy room, the to-do list is never ending and unfulfilling. Of course, I am grateful to be a stay-at-home mom and raise our children, but sometimes it feels like it's the only thing that defines us. But no one understands how you deal with a one-income life. For some, it means that the working spouse is a good source of income, but sometimes it can mean that it is the decision fit for the family situation and that the budget will be squeezed accordingly. For some, it means that there are no date nights, no going to restaurants, no budget for salon visits, no family vacations abroad. No one understands how you hate being dependent on your partner for all financial matters. No one understands about the guilt for not contributing to the family's finance or the feeling that you're not living up to the society's expectations of what a successful woman should be. No one understands how difficult it can be to run a household. No one understands how you have to adjust meal plans to suit your child's preference or the frustrations you get after the efforts of making food and your kids are not even touching it. No one understands the struggle of losing your sense of self and identity when others look down on you for choosing the path of staying at home instead of contributing to a greater society. It can also be incredibly lonely. No one understands the feeling of loneliness and the struggle of keeping the house spotless, cooking meals for the family, keeping your kids in perfect health, while also dealing with your own personal needs and desires. So, sorry, but I am not sorry if after a full day of staying at home, there is no food for dinner. So sorry that I am not sorry if sometimes I smile less, have no patience for the kids, and I am easily triggered for seemingly no reason. No, I am not sorry if I look like I lost my fashion sense when I'm wearing stretchy pants and a loose shirt. Well, I know it's not exactly flattering, these clothes are really comfortable when I need to reach that one piece of Lego stuck under the couch. 
And no, I am not sorry for not being able to answer your messages right away. I was cleaning dishes or I was sweeping off the floor filled with toast, cornflakes, and milk. So yes, I probably saw your message in a preview but won't be able to reply in 4 hours if not never. And no, I am not sorry for being so irritated at cleaning the house that never seems tidy no matter how much putting away or scrubbing I do. But I know that this is just one side of the coin. I know that many working mom resents not being able to raise her children and hates that most of her income goes into daycare. She dreams of being there for her children 10 hours a day but she also knows that she wouldn't be able to put food on her table or roof over her kids heads if she didn't go to work. If you're a working mom, there are times that I envy you. I envy how you have that break away from home. I envy how you have that space from your spouse and children because I can't tell you how many times I wish for that time away, how much I needed some break. If you're a working mom and want to be in my shoes as a stay-at-home mom, we resent each other. After all, we always want what we can't have. That's the truth. The thing is, I, I don't know how working moms juggle work responsibilities plus home responsibilities. I don't know how you manage to hold down a full-time 8 or probably 10 hours a day and still somehow have that energy to tackle laundry or do the dishes from last night's dinner. But no matter if you want to be a working mom or a stay-at-home mom, we are judged no matter what choice we make. The solution is simple. Just be happy with what you have and just stop listening to what the society tells you. Remember to slow down. You can't ignore those dishwashers when your child really wants to show his Lego tower. Take a moment to appreciate these times when they always scream for help. Take a moment to appreciate that the whole family is there at dinner times, although half of the food falls on the floor. Next time your kids throw temper tantrums or toilet accidents, remember this as the opportunities to see every little milestone with your child. Next time you think you're useless, think about your ability to pick up the kids from school if they're not feeling well. Always remember that children are children for such a very short time. You don't need to enjoy every minute of it, but it's your job to love them for the good and the bad moments they have. But yes, sometimes I forget that. I forget how blessed I am that I am able to see my children grow. Sometimes I feel resentful and misunderstood. I can't count how many times I fantasize about escaping it and later on experiencing guilt over these feelings. So next time you pick the floor sweeper, remember that it's just part of your job, just as your husband has his task every day at work. It can be so frustrating that we have to give up most of ourselves, but as moms, we are wired in a way that we can do so much and still create a balance in everything we do. And if this sounds hard for you, trust that you will find a way around it. You can still spark that creativity and still contribute to the working world that doesn't demand you to be in an office and still earn money while your children are asleep. So what makes us happy as stay-at-home moms? A simple thank you can really go a long way. And I don't mean that we need praise in everything that we do. It can mean that you can clean your own dishes after meals, or tidy the bed when you get up, or cook dinner occasionally. Or maybe just a hug every now and then and tell her you appreciate the things she does for the family. It is not much, but it's the very least you can do for the work we stay-at-home moms do. 
definitely not everyone is cut out to be a stay-at-home mom, just like not everyone is cut out to be a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, or a scientist. Being a stay-at-home mom, a homemaker, a housewife, whatever you want to call it, it is just the same as any other job out there. Everyone faces their own unique challenges no matter what kind of work you do. It is how you see and make of it. So to my dear stay-at-home mom, please never stop striving to be a more grateful, loving parent even at the most difficult times. And don't forget to love yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back for getting up every day, cleaning, feeding, washing, teaching, and playing with your mini humans. Does it get lonely? Yes, sometimes. Do I have any regrets about being a stay-at-home mom? None. It was the best choice I have ever made. Lovely.